Hey, here's a quick demonstration of how to use the uh, slider WordPress plugin. First thing you're going to want to know is how to edit your existing posts and also um, work with your posts to make sure that they'll work with the plugin. Um, so I'm just going to add in a demo here, demo post here, WordPress slider demo, and then I'm going to add some sample text as well. This will this text in here is what's word used for your excerpt. So you're going to want to type in, I'm just going to add in a bunch of text for you guys so you can see an example of what the excerpt is going to look like. Okay, so that's our demo post. Next thing you want to know is image management, which will be managed through the default WordPress gallery, which each individual post has its own gallery. So you can upload some images to that post. You're going to need at least two images. Uh, for it to work. I accidentally only uploaded one, but so here's the next one. So you need at least two images, one for your banner image and one for your thumbnail. So I saved those and then the next thing you have to do is order them in the way that you want them. So I want this image to be the banner so I have it as the first um, sorry, as the first image and then this one as the second one, which this will be used as your thumbnail. So once you get them in the order that you want, banner, thumbnail, you save it. There, and then that post is ready to work with um, the slider plugin. So I'm going to add in a couple more demo uh, posts so that the plugin will actually work the way it's supposed to. And I'll fast forward. Through. Okay, so now I have a bunch of posts here. Uh, just random. I just used random images off my computer to uh, show you how this will work. Next thing you want to do is you want to add in uh, the the plugin into your theme, and most people will do probably do this with a template tag. So um, I just added in it into this default WordPress theme into the top right in, inside of the content. You just add in this. Um, template tag that you can see on the help page. So just added that in and then if you want to see it in action you just go to, uh, well you can just add it in wherever and then you go on your page to where that's going to show up. So as you can see I added in the, there's the banner and there's the thumbnail. And so here's a couple other examples. Just uh, random images um, the title, and then you can see how the excerpt works. Work it automatically cuts off um, right there. So uh, that's all you really have to do to get the plugin working. Now adjusting it to fit into your theme better, um, that's going to be a little bit more tricky. But right now it's based on percentages, so it should look pretty good on most themes out there. Um, but you might want to also adjust it so you can come to this page here, and then there's each of these individual options. Um, this is going to change obviously the the time between how long it takes between switching between these automatically. Um, they can also click on them to switch between them or it automatically slides. So you can change this to say one second, 1000 milliseconds. Number of posts, you can, it defaults to four. You can show like as many as you want. I would recommend maybe not going over five or six just for performance reasons. Um, so that'll show the number of posts. Category ID, here's a quick way to find the category ID if you don't know. WordPress you can go to the categories page. Um, I have three categories here just for demonstration. We have featured. The way you tell is you hover over it and if you look in the bottom left of your page, this is in Firefox, Firefox, uh, different browsers might be similar to this, but you look at the URL you're going to, you look for the tag ID, or you can even click on it and in the URL bar it'll show you this, but you look for the tag ID and that will show you the category ID. Um, so back to the slider administration, you can put in the category IDs. Um, what I've done on a site I worked on, which is the demo site for this, or one of the demo sites, is I only show featured posts on the slider. So I put a, the category ID for featured and only posts marked as a featured category. Okay, outer shell width is going to be the, um, 
let's go back to the demo site. So the outer shell width is this gray background behind your thing, so you can adjust that to whatever you want. It's in pixel width. Um, by the way, a really good way to get these the way you want them is to use a Firefox extension called Measure It. Um, it allows you to do this. So you, let's say I want to stretch that slider out and lengthen it a bit. I can just measure the dimensions I want. So it looks like about 633 pixels. Height is 338 pixels. So I can measure it with this Firefox extension. Chrome probably has one as well. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, so 633, um, I, th I can't remember, like 400 or something. I can just guess there. The banner is the banner inside. Um, by the way, I have these thumbnails on the left-hand side in their own thing. Um, like you can see on this example here. Um, but another way you can do it is, here's another demo site. Another way you can do it is you can have the banner image stretch all the way to the left. And that will, and the way you can adjust that is you can have this be the same as your shell width or 100%. Um, so that's an option there. Um, but this, this banner width will adjust the inner part of here. So if we want it to be the same as what it is, we probably want it to be about 630. Um, by maybe like 397. It just gives you a lot more flexibility having it this way. Thumbnail width is the width of these. Um, so if we have them as 150 by 150, obviously it will increase them. Title width is the width of this black background here, and it will give you more space for that. I'm not going to adjust that. Position from top. Um, by default, it automatically positions it right here. If you set the position from top to zero, it would be this title box would be up here. You could also push it down. By the way, if you accidentally make the setting too high, it could push this down, like clear down here, so you won't see it. So if you don't see it, that's probably why. Um, excerpt length is the number of this in words. So this shows like one, two, three, four. I think it shows like 13 words by default, and you can adjust that as well. So I'll show you a quick example of how that is changed. So you just save it, saves all those settings, and then refresh the page. And you should see that. Yep, see how it went out further as we wanted it to. Um, it just is the background banner to bigger. The thumbnails are now 150 by 150. And by the way, if they're too big too, the, which they are right now, they're going to stretch beyond. So that's why you have to tweak the settings a little bit in order to make sure that it'll fit. So if we make this a bit taller, and then refresh it, you should be able to see how you can, you can keep adding more space to tweak this to fit exactly as you want. And you can also, if you're good with CSS, it's probably better to just do it straight through your style.css file. Um, so that's an option there. Another option, if you don't want, if you aren't very good with the template tags, is you can use the short code. Um, and here's an example page that uses the short code. If you were doing this, you would probably um, want to have like a, you'd probably have like a front page page, and then you'd put the short code in there for your front page. So that's another way that you can insert it in aside from the template tag. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, find a good use for this, and let me know if you have any questions.